a great start to day two of the Cheltenham Festival there with those two races with Stu and I'm going to kick off with the per temp hurdle final it's a three mile grade three handicap and you have to qualify for this there were about four qualifiers earlier in the season at the top Thunder Road Leon Van Rensburg Queenslock David Hooley Wish Jackson and Daydream Believer Graham Clitable Optimist Craig Beckwith Bell Kennan Alex Cherry Foynes Pickles David Robertson Luxembourg Darren Thompson Duty Magdalena James Shea Fraud Stu Gray and Spritzer Catherine Thomas Rogers quite a few qualifiers have opted to bypass the final Final, probably due to the big names at the top, but should still be a competitive affair. And away they go. Okay, now way towards the first flight of hurdles. And 12 of them they've got to take, and they get over the first one safely with Wish Jackson pulling for its head in the lead. Wants to go a little bit quicker than the jockey wants it to, but he's settling down a little bit now. Leads by about a neck to Duty Magdalena on its inside in second. The Grey Luxembourg is in third as they skip over number two. And on the inside, Bell Kennan for Alex Cherry. What a marvellous day yesterday. Back in three winners on the opening day of the Cheltenham Festival and getting over flight number three. It's Wish Jackson who's in the lead from Duty Magdalena and Luxembourg and then Bell Kennan after that one in fourth. And we've got Daydream Believer and Spritz of Catherine. Queen's Lock is after that one in Foynes Pickles. And Optimist is just the early back marker. But no more than ten lengths off the leader. And that leader is Wish Jackson. Or Graham Clutterbuck into the fourth flight, then leading by two. Good jump by the Grey Luxembourg in second. Duty Magdalena third. And Queen's Luck in the purple jacket has now moved through into fourth. With Bell Kennan after that one. And a bit wide on the track. Spritzer Catherine. The second of the Greys is Stu Gray's fraud. And that one is now probably just a bad the back marker on the inside of Optimist. And Wish Jackson continues to lead by about two and a half lengths to Luxembourg in second and Duty Magdalena third, Bell Kennan fourth and Queen's Luck and Foynes Pickles pretty tightly packed the main body of the field just the leader Wish Jackson who's clear into the fifth that one they go Luxembourg a little bit slow that time has allowed Duty Magdalena to jump into second Bell Kennan on the outside into third and Foynes Pickles is also Getting a little bit closer now. Second ground, principal course, Daydream Believer is well placed in the middle of the pack. Spritz of Catherine on its outside and Queen's look on its inside. Optimist is now going past a few. Thunder Road just hitting a bit of a flat spot. And Fraud still the back marker, but they've got well over a mile and a half still to go. A mile and three quarters, in fact. And Wish Jackson is clear by four or five now. This Flight will be their last next time round and signifies the midway point in the jump in. They'll pass the winning post now and then go out for one more circuit of the track. And Wish Jackson is the one that will take them out onto that circuit with a lead of about three lengths to Bell Kennan in second. Luxembourg is third and Foynes Pickles is four. Then Duty McLean is five and Queen's Look is six. And then Daydream Believer and Spritzer Catherine Thunder Road Optimist and finally Fraud the back marker. Just finding their pace a little bit hot as they race uphill and swing left-handed uh, towards the back straight and towards the seventh flight where Wish Jackson continues to show the way home, leading by three to Bell Kennan in second and Luxembourg in third. Foynes Pickles is still there in fourth as they get to the seventh. And all successfully over that one. The body's hurtling really well. I haven't seen a mistake, I don't think, yet really. And it's Wish Jackson continues to show the way, been in the lead all the way this one, with Luxembourg second just stood off that one a little bit though, the leader maybe getting a bit lonely out there in front, and Luxembourg now comes to join him for company, and might just have poked his head in front of the grey and the figure is definitely concertina in there as they get over number nine and Luxembourg has suddenly gone a length and a half clear of Wish Jackson who's now under pressure in second, Queen's Look is cruising in third, Bell Kennan on the inside four, then Duty Magdalena swinging around the outside now, Thunder Road, Daydream Believer also trying to make a move, Foynes Pickles is still there, line of about five of them in third place at the moment and Fraud is getting closer from the back as well 
Luxembourg over the tenth. That's the third from home. Leads by about a length to Wish Jackson, who's now getting a second wind in second. Then finds Pickles. Then comes Duty Magdalena. Then Daydream Believer. He's now coming round the outside. It looks like he's got a double handful on Thunder Road. The top weight Bell Kennan just lost his place on the inside, and Queen's Look might be getting trapped in if he doesn't watch it. But the field is now really tightly grouped as they race down towards the final two flights. They've still got a good five and a half furlongs to race though, and Luxembourg is in the lead by a neck from Foyne's Pickles who's gone second, Daydream Believer is cruising on the outside, Wish Jackson is in fourth, then comes Queen's Look who's getting under a bit of pressure, Thunder Road being asked to quicken, gone round the outside now, Spritzer Catherine is also trying to get into it, so too is the back marker fraud who's now more than four lengths off the lead as they get over the second last, and it's Foyne's Pickles who hits the front, Foyne's Pickles takes it up, here comes Optimist, now coming through with a good looking run, Daydream Believer's not quickened up as much as he looked like he was going to, but it's Foyne's Pickles then, racing down towards the final three furlongs. Just one more flight to take, and Foyne's Pickles is clear, and Wish Jackson's been pulled up at the back, but it's Foyne's Pickles in the lead. Optimist is in second, Daydream Believer under strong pressure in third. These three are clear, Thunder Road's trying to run on, so too is Spritzer Catherine. They come down towards the final flight, then in the Per Temps final, and it's Foyne's Pickles by two. Foyne's Pickles for David Robertson, he had a good day yesterday. He comes to the final flight, gets over it nicely in the lead, but Optimist is closing. Craig Beckley's also in a good fit, it's Foynes Pickles and Optimist from Spritz and Catherine. Foynes Pickles the furlong still to go. Foynes Pickles by a neck. Optimist is beginning to get up on the outside. And Optimist takes it up. Here comes Spritz and Catherine with a late run. But it's going to be Foynes. It's going to be Optimist. I think it's going to take it. Fraud is finishing like an absolute train on the outside. And it's Optimist. Optimist takes it. Oh, what an exciting finish to start my stint today and I thought my commentating buddy Stu Gray was going to get a big win there as fraud was coming through like a train but Optimist held off the two greys and Optimist takes it for Craig Beckwith fraud second for Stu Gray Luxembourg for Darren Thompson was third Spritzer Catherine for Thomas Rogers fourth and Foynes Pickles for David Robertson was fifth one or two of them looked like they were going really well and just never picked up at all in the straight things like Thunder Road Daydream Believer um and Queens looked look like they were going really well at one point but just dropped right away so another one for Craig Beckwith who's having a blinding season